we go. All right, welcome everyone. Akasha here and uh, from nanakasha.com. And thank you for joining us. This is the Bliss Life podcast series called the Global Healing Series on Energy Medicine. And I'm Akasha and I'm here with my friend and co-host today, Reese Thomas. Hi, Reese. Hey, everybody. Hi, Ann. <laughs> And so um, if you know Reese or if you had the pleasure of hearing our interview, he did an amazing chakra journey, I uh, highly recommend it. And um, he's from the ReeseThomasInstitute.com, is that right? Yes. Right. And so um, what we're going to do today is um, just spontaneously, because we're in the very moment, which is to me my favorite way of doing healings or anything else, is tuning into the moment. So uh, Reese loves to play crystal bowls, and they're incredible healers. So hello, do your bowls have names or anything? Uh, no, they don't okay. have names. <laughs> just <laughs> yeah, they're just uh, I'm my, they're just one of my favorite forms of um, of of healing. Um, I mean, as I've, I run a running an energy medicine school, and we use like fifty different modalities to get the whole package together and to do it all at all the possible levels. Um, but the bowls are just so effortless. Um, you know, our our energy our, our body is basically a carbon unit it's like a crystal and the water's a liquid crystal our bones are liquid crystal i mean our, our, our crystalline in structure everything everything within us is made of some kind of crystal and our energy field resonates to crystal and and so when we're trying to sort of be and you know the biggest struggle for people is how do you know what's right how do you know how do you really know this is the right person or this is the right job or do you really know that person shouldn't have said that to you, <laughs> you know, or, you know, whatever it is that you're all upset about or what's going on is, do, can we really know that this isn't the way the world is supposed to operate right now? It's like, can we really know that? And, and, to, and the, the, one of the struggles is, is that, especially when we've done spiritual work and we've had these awakenings, we've had this sense of oneness and wholeness with the whole entire universe, we realize, oh my God, I have to know this at some level. I have to, I have access to the wisdom of the universe of, of life at some level. And it's so hard to get there because our brain is so tricky and strong and it really limits our ability to think in a consciousness way. It thinks in a sort of like a structured, organized linear way but consciousness and the kind of thing we'd have to do to be able to figure out whether we should be happy right now or sad um is is much more difficult because it has to be felt not thought and so and so for me the the crystal bowls um came to me while i was actually in um uh, energy medicine school, I went to, you know, I, I tried everything and was followed everyone and done everything. And then finally I was like, Oh God, these bar, this, you know, Barbara Brennan had like, you know, I, I started following her and then my, and then one of her, uh, early graduates had her own school of similar types of total, you know, full spectrum healing. And I was in school learning how to know what a chakra was and feel a chakra and heal through a chakra and send energy through a chakra and all. And, uh, and I was kind of getting it, you know, and I, I, you know, I was, I was a bit of a, I'd, I'd been a black belt in the martial arts and a professional athlete. I was figuring how hard could this healing stuff be? And, uh, and it, it ended up being that, that I would try to hold these different colors, which you have to be able to do as a healer. You have to be able to hold the different levels pure, you know, the, at a higher level, at least than your client is doing to, to heal them. And I'd always be, I'd always ask the teacher, I'd say, okay, so orange right now. I'm in the, I'm in the second chakra. I'm so orange. And she'd come by and she'd go, Nope, you're yellow. I'm like, what? And I was, I was so feeling at that time. And then, you know, and then I'd be, you know, working on the heart and say, I'm so green right now. I'm so, it's like, I'm feeling it. I'm doing, and she'd come by and go, Nope, you're yellow. And I'd be like, what? And of course, yellow is the third chakra where you use your will to do healing work. And it's a <laughs> Make it happen. Make work. it happen. Yeah. Do what? Trying Make it happen. So hard to, trying so hard to do it. Yeah, and, yeah. and then, 
like about two years into the program when I'm just starting to actually every now and then she comes by and goes, yep, you got it. Okay. You're on the rhythm. And then I'd immediately lose it whenever she'd say, it. I was like, Oh, you know, so, uh, you know, and then, and then I got a gift of a crystal bowl, like for, for I don't know, from somebody. And I was thinking, Oh my God, this has got to be the hokiest, you know, new agey thing. What kind of, you know, this is crazy and they're so expensive and why would anybody? So, so, and I played it, I played the bowl and you know, I didn't have any idea what it was at first. And then it said, there's instructions, you bing it and then you play it and you, and, uh, and when I, and when it played, I was like, instantaneously, I was like, oh my God, that's what it feels like when I'm holding the second chakra. And it's so hard for me to get there because I'm a guy and I'm like, been shutting down my feelings my whole life. And I was like, but it was like, boom. And I had it. And, and I was like, what? is that bowl? And they were like, oh, it's the note of D. And I was like, D, huh? I wonder why D does that. And I find out, you know, later that D is the note of the second chakra. And, and then, uh, and, and of course, I'm a performance guy, I'm a pro athlete, you know, working with all what I, what I love to do. You know, my passion in the world is, is helping people live at a higher performance level. And um, which is why energy work just made the most sense to me at, at the end. Um, and so I, I instantly thought, oh, I can get ahead of my classmates here if I start training with these bowls, right? And I did, and, I, and, and ultimately I became the guy running the school. Um, but, I, but the bowls became this easy sort of understanding that there's frequencies that we have to tap into to access the consciousness in that frequency. And unless we're in that frequency, which means feeling it, we can't get the information from those levels. And because all we're gonna get is information from our brain saying, I think that I'm probably feeling that, and I've always felt that, so this ought to be the way I'm feeling. And we, have, and we end up doing that rather than actually experiencing it and feeling it. So, so that was sort of my little bowl, like how I got into them. And then I just, you know, after that, I, I ended up buying, I mean, I probably have, 40 bowls, you know? Yeah, I, you know, I knew you did. I but, knew it. Oh but, my gosh. But, but of course, of course I'm stranded here in Florida, in Naples, Florida, which is not a bad, uh, bad deal. Yeah. But, um, but I only have one bowl with me. And what I do when I do bowl workshops now online is I have to play them uh, because the bowl actually sounds better through your, through direct, th through the recordings than they do through the actual bowl itself. So I'll be doing a combination of both. I have one bowl here that we're going to start with We'll start with this one. So, um, but any, but so, so while we're doing this, I'd love to have people be able to ask questions yeah. about this or Nan, if you've got some input on, you know, your experience with bowls or anything like that, you know, I'd love to, you know, let's have a conversation here on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's what I was saying is um, put anything you want in the chat window, shares, questions, um, and we will, after we're done, we'll be happy to listen. You can talk to us too, or, or ask us anything. And um, what, yeah, what I want to share is that because, wow, what a perfect time to start these live healings, right? Um, we've been building the pressure, the intensity, the transformation, the breakdown, the breakthrough, whatever you want to call the cleansing, the big transformation, the great divide, the great societal reset. I don't know whatever other title there is out there right now for what's happening. And now we have this explosion of violence and hatred and anger um, coming out of the U.S. and uh, protests and all kinds of things. So what I want to do is, of course, we're going to be in the moment. So whatever comes through uh, Reese and whatever comes through me is going to be perfect for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create what I call the Infinity Healing Chamber. This is something we do in my uh, school, Light Body School. And, um, and what we do is uh, I'll walk you through it. It's part of the meditation. It'll tune you into the space that I create before. And it, everything is consciousness. So like uh, Reese was saying, when he was going through school, learning how to hold the color, hold the frequency, hold the vibration, they're all the same thing as a state. So if you're familiar with the scale of human consciousness, we use it a lot. And when you look that you know, you're trying to hold a certain state. One of the things you said about the crystal bowls was the first time I heard one and uh, was conscious enough to pay attention, like, oh, it, it was like 
a wave of letting go. It was effortless. It felt like, oh, oh, there's a wave and it was just carrying me and it was just washing away everything else. And so the sound healing, like Reese was saying, the crystals themselves, each of those bowls are extremely unique. They're like a being. Everything is alive. Everything is alive to me. Um, and it's, it is alive. If you've ever heard of Ho'oponopono, I studied with Dr. Hugh Len, and the first time I met him in person, um, he was the one that uh, Joe Vitale wrote the book about zero, uh, zero point or something, zero frequency. Zero balancing. And, uh, yeah, you know, and, and the, the, the Ho'oponopono is about erasing, cleansing, letting it go, get rid of all your memories and saying these certain sacred words. And he was standing in this giant hotel ballroom uh, filled with people waiting for him standing next to the wall, touching it. And I, I walked up and introduced myself and said, I'm really pleased to, to meet you. And he said, have you said hello to the room? And so we sat there together for about three or four minutes in silence, touching the wall and talking to the room and the floor and everything. So I want to invite you to begin to step into that reality even more. We are awakening. Uh, it's a hot mess, but it's okay. So you want to stay calm, you want to master your emotions, but you want to let go. And we do that by accepting. So the states of consciousness on the scale relate to the frequencies. So if the state of shame is very low energy, courage is a little more energy, anger is a lot of energy if you've been depressed or in grief or guilt. So the anger is actually an increase in energy on the planet, but we don't want to stay there, right? But we move through it and we move to acceptance, which is a state where you take your power back. It's where the emotional body forgives and let go, lets go. It's where the mental body, the mind, moves into harmony. It moves into harmonious thoughts. You start to literally transcend everything and you become enveloped in, you're living in the frequency of compassion. This is where I want to invite you to go. What's happening right now might make you angry. <laughs> it might make you uh, remember certain dramas and traumas in your life. We all have to process what comes up, but we don't have to give ourselves over to the emotion. We don't have to let it be in charge of us. So like Reese was saying, the, most, uh, the best way I could figure out was energy healing, energy medicine, energy work to do what I really love, to be, actually master my world instead of it just being from the will, just from power, just from skill. And so allow yourself to feel the sadness or the anger or the outrage or the fear. But when you accept it, you immediately start to rise to that state. And that's rising up the chakras. It's rising to a higher state of consciousness, a higher level of awareness, a different color. So I want to invite you to experience this whole uh, day, this thing we're doing today um, with all of your senses. You have 360 senses and they're wakening up in different ways. So I'm going to tune you into the healing chamber. Remember every element in it is a consciousness. And like Reese said, you have to be able to tune in, like you know the cell phone number. So you actually connect and can talk to that orange frequency of the chakra in the sacral chakra or the heart chakra or wherever. And so when you tune in and you allow each of these, it's like you unlock a door and their healing, their wisdom, that consciousness, that frequency, that color, that symbol, um, anything you see, feel, memories, I want you to just be in a state of acceptance, okay? Just be in a receptive state of acceptance. So Reese, what else do you want to say before we start? I'll go ahead and... Um, uh, well, the well, we can, and then we'll move in, but you can talk about what's happening well, now or anything else. <laughs> if we got, we've got, we got a little bit of time and, um, our, and you're going to do a meditation, right? I'm going to, uh, start it, open it by tuning yep. everyone in to the chamber. Yep. And then okay. at some point I'll just stop and, and you can play behind me or you can just then go. Sure. Into I'll, I play, I'll, play the, I'll play the ball that I have, uh, that I have here with me while you're, while you're doing your your thing because this is a it's a heart bowl and so it's a perfect perfect, perfect. bowl to, to get this going and um and then what i'll do is i'm gonna the way i do bowl sort of readings and trainings and things is is i play uh i'll play 
I'll start out with just playing, I'll play three different bowls. And you don't have to play them for very long. It's not like you have to meditate for half an hour to get this. You'll probably get it within the first five seconds of the bowl playing. Some kind of an experience. And I'm going to play, uh, I'll play three different dimensions of your energy field. And then we'll let people check in on sort of, I felt this in this one. I felt this in that one. Uh, and, you know, I'll play, I'll, play, I'll play the two or three and then have people feedback. Um, and then... Uh, I can show you kind of like where this stuff comes from. I've got a little bit, of, I can share my screen and show a couple things on the screen. Uh, but the first thing is just going to be, um, you know, let's get to that place where everybody's ready to sort of find out what really, what they're really feeling. What's, what's really their purpose right now. Cause I, I have a, I have a real belief that when you hear something that doesn't come from your brain um, or have an emotion that didn't come from your brain, it's a calling to, a higher purpose within you. Um, and it's all, and the stuff, but the stuff that comes from your brain isn't really called to, calling to anything other than yesterday and, and, and anxiety about tomorrow. Um, so really owning your power in the present moment will have to do with sort of like feeling what you're doing, then sharing that. And that's also how healing works. So we can talk about those, those things. So yeah, so let's, let's do it. I'll, I'll play some bowls. You go, you go. Okay, great. So um, I want to introduce you to a few of our friends who are here. This is a Sri Yantra. If you're not familiar with it, it is one of my absolute favorite sacred geometry symbols. And you can see it's a fractal. It's multidimensional. They have temples build 3D. Uh, it represents your pineal and all kinds of other great stuff's going on. And this is both. Both um, uh, Nancy used to sell crystal bowls. Uh, Reese and I uh, really have an affinity for Thoth as a guide, and um, this one I actually got in Egypt the first time I was there. We've got Kuan Yin, who you'll also meet because I'm going to call in the Light Body Healing Circle. She's one of our things, and Kuan Yin, if you're not familiar, is she's the epitome of compassion. She holds the pain and the um, grief and the sadness and everything of the planet of everyone and she's willing and happy to hold that so i want to invite you to begin to let go and to give those over we've got our nice crystal kingdom and some dolphins and frogs and other wonderful things here as well so all right good so get comfortable <sighs> and you can close your eyes whenever you're ready and I want you to just start by taking a deep breath in through your nose and follow it. Watch it go up over your forehead and bathe your brain, your pineal, your chakra, everything up down your throat and hold it in your heart as long as you can. And when you're ready to let it go, do it through your mouth very slowly. And again, watch the breath act like a wave of light going down, down, down through your body and your light body and washing away all the other things that your energy is going to right now. Just let it go down into Gaia. She loves our crappy stuff. She loves our heavy leftovers and our negativity she takes it in and turns it into the most powerful fertilizer compost and now while you're just feeling that breath pay attention to it as you begin your next breath in through your nose again slowly watch it what color is it is it like air or sparkles or liquid? Have it go up higher now through your crown chakra and up to your soul star. And then begin to come down, pouring over your whole body, your throat, your arms, and into your heart. And again, when you let it go, like a beautiful wave. And just relax a little deeper into your chair, into your couch, and allowing a few more of your senses to come alive. Now on this last third breath in, 
Really watch and ask that breath, that air, that life force, that consciousness to move out from your forehead into your mind and your mental body and through your emotional body and out through every layer of your light body. Pause and hold it. Let it move and give it permission to take all that no longer serves you. <sighs> Let it go and watch that wave, feel that wave move through your mind, your body, through your cells and your blood and your bones and open your feet chakras and allow all of that heaviness to flow out of your feet. Ask your feet chakras to open, cleanse, and clear, and to allow all those thoughts, feelings, beliefs, all those heavy memory, limiting, thoughts, outdated obligations, invite them all to come forward and give them permission to leave and allow your focus to drop to your heart, feel the waves of healing from the crystals, from Reese's heart, from my heart, from Gaia's heart. Feel and sense the infinity healing chamber all around you. Asking in your heart, be here now. And simply relax deeper as if you're dropping into the soft, warm, comforting arms of the Divine Mother. As you sink deeper, letting go, feeling all of your thoughts coming back into this moment. Let your heart resonate with this frequency and relax into this wave back to the vibration of your heart centers functional perfection you feel your heart aligning with Gaia's your sister your mother your home Pulsing together, you drop deeper into the loving embrace and your heart releases.
a heavy layer, like a wet blanket. It dissolves and you begin to feel lighter. A wave of gold light, warm like the sun, moves over you and you relax. Letting go of the past. guilt, the shame, the blame, you feel this gold rain, spiritual golden sunlight coming from this cone above you and below you. You see, sense, and feel the gold cones of light emanating warmth, nourishment, healing. It infuses your body as you welcome the twelfth ray of creation, the gold god ray, creating the cone of light as above, so below, in the infinity healing chamber. You welcome the gold ray and let it go deeper into your heart, illuminating all darkness, shadows, bonds, locks. It goes deeper as you relax again and ask with your heart to be a clear and open channel to your highest good, your soul signature frequency, your higher self, and your soul blueprint. I now release all that weighs me down, holds me back, keeps me unclear, attached to low emotions, and allow the gold ray to pull these from you gently like a vacuum, a cone of golden light above and below you pulls out all of those energies, patterns, agreements, karmic knots that keep you from rising to the state that is optimal for me at this time. you, you see you are wrapped inside the all-seeing eye. Within this eye is the most beautiful, opulent, delicious, sensational space. You feel sensations you taste colors, you feel clarity as you're connected to all that was, is, will be. 
all lives, all dimensions, the infinite field, the void. Clarity washes through your entire being. You feel lighter and lighter as your awareness expands and you feel and sense a sphere of white light all around the entire chamber made from the flower of life, the sacred geometry pattern that contains all sacred patterns that form all life. Glistening, shining, spinning, the light emanating. You feel yourself rising to the state of infinity. consciousness of the flower of life moves like a wave of silver light into your heart. And wave after wave moves from your heart out through you your house, the planet, through everyone, through all elementals, all kingdoms, down to the core of the earth, through the crystal kingdoms, through the waters, through the mountains, through the clouds, the moon, the sun, the celestials. Keep receiving the gold and silver rays as they pour into your heart in an infinite flow. I'm ready and willing I'm open and receptive to receive, release, rediscover, remember, and renew. Enjoy.
Now allow the crystal kingdom, the crystal consciousness, the crystalline consciousness that we are becoming, the crystals in the earth, in Gaia's body, in your home, in temples and places around the world, the crystals in these bowls move through you with a message, a healing, and a blessing. we are listening to crystal bowls here. Um, I'm going to play three different bowls right now. Um, there'll be a short break in between each one. And just notice how each one takes you on a very specific journey and different types of guidance. Nice thing about soul is that um, it's never been the same twice. So even if you've heard crystal bowls before, the way the soul, the voice of the soul, which is what comes through when you hear your actual energy body that lives in the present moment, it'll always give you something new. So being open to whatever you experience or whatever you feel. So I'm gonna turn up the volume just a little bit and we're gonna play three different bowls and just maybe just make a mental note in between each one. So we'll start with this one.
into that. Breathe into that and just feel that, how that vibration called you in some way. Where did, where in your body did you feel it? What colors did you see? What came to mind? What senses were, were heightened? different tone, a different dimension of your consciousness. Notice how, again, you were called. The bowls don't actually do anything to your energy field other than allow you to experience it and what it desires because your energy field is one huge desire. It tells you what you're being called to do now in this moment. And so we'll do one last bowl set of bowls. So breathe that last one out and bring your attention fully into this bowl.
I had myself muted there. Um, so breathe back in and come back into your um, into your body and notice that that the energy field that you were experiencing is very dynamic. It's not um, a static the way the brain works. Uh, it flows, it moves, it may move from right to left, it may move through your heart, it may move through you know, up and down one side of your body. You may have only felt one of them on one side of your body or in your throat. Uh, you may have felt it as a pressure, which would be where a chakra is needing to be released, or you may have felt it like, oh my God, keep playing that, that was fantastic, which is your primal state of being, your, your, your highest potential in that dimension. So um, if we've got a few minutes here, if people could type in what their experiences were between the three. Um, and I can uh, uh, talk, talk a little are bit about- Are you gonna what share what they were? You want they people are. to, to um, share first. Uh, yeah, no, share. So, so the way healing works is um, uh, the brain is the only thing that stops you from healing. Uh, it's like it's like when you work with animals, you do acupuncture or, or healing work on an animal, they get it immediately because they don't have a brain standing in the way. And so to tell you which one, which bowls though were, those were, that would immediately shade your experience and say, oh my God, that's, that, that. and I want you to do that. And I will tell you what they are, but, but not knowing which bowl it is allows you to just feel what you're feeling without having some assumption. And that's really where we heal from. We heal from this, this uh, state of being open. So um, anybody's got, go ahead and type in anything you felt or experienced or even the difference between the bowls. They were very different. They, and and I'll, I'll actually, um, in a second, I'll show you where, where they all came from. And Anne, is that, is that sound low enough that it's yeah, in the background? Good. Yeah, I okay. like it. Uh, hi, Leah said, aloha from Honolulu. This is my first meeting with y'all and wanted to give my deepest mahalo for the very beautiful session. Oceans of aloha. <laughs> and she's a caregiver, so she had to leave. Thank you for being out there doing that. <laughs> so uh, Julie or Nancy, anybody else? Mark Ann, hi there. Want to share uh, what they're experiencing? You can unmute yourself or you can type in the chat window, whatever you prefer. Um, I have, I love these bowls because I have my headset in and um, it's uh, cleansing my sinuses. <laughs> Lots of movement. <laughs> so everybody's a little bit shy. So, so Nan, you want to share your three? Or did you remember uh, which? Yes, yes. Um, I, uh, the first one I felt immediately right through here because like I said, it was coming in through my ears and all my sinuses were moving and everything, but it felt very much here from about here uh, to here, maybe throat chakra-esque um, and was medium, wasn't heavy, wasn't really light um, and was moving in, in more like waves uh, that were going out uh, that were uneven, which was interesting. It wasn't like a ripple, you know, where everything was perfect. It was, it was like they were um, weak. And the second one I felt very surrounded by and my whole belly, my low belly was just like, a, it felt like a Buddha belly, just like, ooh, but out to here, you know, it just felt like this big, ooh, uh, down, like, oh, I was sitting right in there. Um, and the last one just went across my third eye and it was like, a, like, you know, in a sci-fi movie when the spaceship starts opening, you know, like ooh, when you see this light, you know, kind of like ooh, that way right now. Ooh, my ears are popping. Um, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so perfect. So we'll, well, since you're, since you started off, we'll, we'll tell you what they are now. So the first one. Here, here uh, you want to hear Lisa shared. Well, let, you want to say? Oh first yeah, thing? yeah. Why not, yeah, sure. Lisa okay. said can, the first bowl was. Oh, yep. you want to? You got I can it. it. So okay. uh, easy breathing, calm, relaxed, and thoughts of spouse and fixing the necklace he bought me that I broke. <laughs> nice. Second bowl, breathing fine, uh, pain in lower left back, 
and right foot. Had to lie down when white, uh, then white and yellow, uh, Christ light from the right. Um, so third bowl was difficult. Felt uh, temple pain, left wrist pain, wo uh, old wounds, then a red pistol of a, a, a red pistol of a flower protruding, uh, then a solid white brownish bridge of some sort emanating from my throat to somebody else's throat. Uh, tummy breathing finally. Nice. Okay. All right. So, so let's, let's start, let's start with yours, Nan. Yeah. And, uh, and, and so the first bowl was, um, and I can share, let me share my, see if I can do this. Um, hmm. Can everybody see where is it now? You can see my screen, but, do, wait. but it's not anything interesting. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There it is. There's more interesting. There Nothing interesting there. Okay. So, so um, the first bowl were the chakras and the body. Okay. It was the, it was mostly the heart chakra, which is sort of the central piece, but there, it was a combination of loving your, your sort of like your world, your life is your relationships, your, yourself, your body, your, you know, you're dealing with, the world. The chakras are our mess, right? There's nothing, there's nothing pretty about chakras. Okay. They're, they're constantly, I mean, they're beautiful. They're gorgeous. They let you see the universe in a, in such an incredible way, but they're often a mess. They're up and down, they're moving around there. There are things are going on. And, um, and you first felt it in your, in your sinuses, like you're clearing your sinuses and, and are, energetically you felt it in your heart which was sort of like so this is relationships and this was the heart chakra and the first chakra together that create this that create this this universe and and we our sinuses are where we sort of get into deep discussion with other people especially in our primary in our especially in our primary relationship there's dent so the more we're sort of coming trying to come to a meeting of the minds um in the in the sixth chakra and you know in our communication here the more we sort of kind of bang heads and that and that's and when sinuses are up for any reason there's kind of a, 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 a trying to come to a meeting in the minds and it's difficult uh, especially in primary relationship but but with people and and so and so that's sort of like then you were sort of and you got sort of like oh that can be that that way you were getting cleared it was opening up it was like oh yeah there's we're coming to this meeting of a mind so that was so that was happening there the second bowl represents the hara line so the so the so the the you know the the martial arts training line this this line right here this is so these are the four dimensions of healing that i teach that i that have to be integrated you know so you have to yes you have to have chakras and you have to heal your chakras but if you don't know what your what your why you're here what your purpose is it won't do any good if chakras can't stay open if they don't know what they're doing open um and so and so this next level of the Third, second bowl that I played represents this sort of this this vertical line of energy, and so you felt it right here in the Dantian. You felt the Buddha belly, and the Buddha belly is the Dantian. So you totally nailed it. It was like, oh my God, that's the Buddha <laughs> belly, and you actually felt the Buddha belly, yeah. and that's what it feels like to have a Buddha belly. It's like I am <laughs> the universe. I I hold my part, my little piece of the universe, that Buddha spot. That's it. So you totally so you totally got that. And then, and then the third bowl that I played was the soul bowls, the soul tones. And, um, and whatever your highest mission and purpose in life is either, you know, you're going to, so, so we have, and we'll, we'll get on to the, with the, the person who, who wrote in there as well. And cause she didn't, she had a, a negative experience, which, which is totally fine. It's sort of showing. So a positive experience like you had, which was like, oh my God, I, I realized my, soul's mission for me is to keep my sixth chakra open all the time and, and, you know, and, and have that, oh, that, that constantly. And it was a lovely sort of, Oh yeah, that's where I live. That's what's always made me happy. That's what I was as a child. That's what I'll be after I'm dead. That's the, you know, it's like, ev that's me. That's the me that doesn't, it doesn't live in a chakra. It, it commands the chakras, you know, it tells, so these levels here, the soul level, and the life purpose level are the contracts. So the soul is the consciousness. The life purpose level has all the contracts 
for why you have the chakras you have, why you have the body you have, why you live where you live, why you're dealing with the things you have to deal with your life. And so just dealing with chakras is, okay, I can, I can, I can fix my chakras today, but if I don't know why it's ever happening, it just keeps happening. So accessing these deeper levels of awareness are really, are really the key. So, so Nan, you got, so you had those, those experiences. So let me, I just wanted to yeah. sort of show that, that these are, so I'm a guy, like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a healer and a guy, you know, and I run a school. And so to me, understanding the, the strategy or the system that, that all these experiences we have when we're doing this deep work point to so that you can then ground it in a, oh yeah, okay, so that's, that was drawing me to this. So, so now I'm sort of giving you a little, a little bit of piece of that is like, if you use these bowls in a systematic way, you can practice like I did, developing my spiritual awareness systematically and realizing that, wow, some of these bowls were telling me I'm, I'm right now, you know, being called to this or I'm being, or this is how I'm blocking it. So, so the second piece, so let me go back to stop sharing. Um, and we'll go back to, oh, so we have a, here we go. So here's the, so the, so, so again, the, so, so loving your body, the first bowl, so to loving your, your feelings and your life and the stuff in your life, um, calm, relax, thoughts of, thoughts of your spouse. So go, of course, because this is loving, if I'm loving my body, it's, a, it's about being in relationship with other bodies. And so the primary body you're going to be in relationship with, you probably one is going to pop up when I play the heart bowl is going to be your spouse. And something about that necklace, there was some sort of love in there. There was some sort of, a, of you know, uh, fixing the necklace that he bought you. That necklace had a very specific meaning that is what's up for you in your life right now with your spouse. Okay, so you're so so you're so you are being called to sort of say, okay, this thing I'm doing, and then your energy body says, pay attention. This is important. You're not just fixing a necklace. You're reestablishing what was what existed when that necklace was given to you. And so this is a so this is so that's how the that's how this energy system works. It's constantly telling you this stuff, but because our brain's so active, we never hear this until a bowl plays, and then you go, oh. And then learning how to read it is just, you know, I've spent 10, 10 million, 10,000 hours reading, <laughs> reading bowls. So, uh, so then the second bowl played. Now, remember, the second bowl was that sort of like those contracts. So when Carol Mace talks about your, your, uh, your archetypal contracts, well, you've got contracts for why you have the chakras you have, why you're here, why, you know, and, you, and, and these are contracts that are unbendable, non-negotiable. You cannot bargain with your contracts. These are the way life is. And so, and, and so they have this real sort of like grounded sense of, oh yeah, so that's it. So second bowl, breathing fine, pain in lower left back and right foot. So, so the lower left back um, is where you're trusting maybe you can, you can deal with this financial crisis that's going on. Um, and, and pain in the right foot, which means, so the right foot is where you're gonna have to, so, the, so just understanding, trust is on the left side of the body beliefs and, and actions are on the right side. So the feminine is the left side, it's the receptive and the trusting masculine and action is on the right side. So, so your left hip said, I don't think I trust this, trust this financially. Um, and the right, and, the, and, and there's pain in the right foot because you really know you're gonna have to put your foot down and make a decision at some point and, and, and commit to something. And that's what the right foot does. The right foot says, I'm putting my foot down. When you tell your children, I'm putting my foot down or your husband or something, that's, <laughs> that is what, that's why. And if it's got pain, it's like, it's hard to, right now it's hard to make a commitment, but, you, but you're being called to, to do that. Um, and, then, um, and then the white and the yellow, which is the seventh and the third chakra. I didn't play that combination, but that's a very powerful combination where you have to take action on your guidance. You know, so what I'm giving you right here, this is perfect seventh and third chakras, you know, white and yellow, right? So you get, it, you get guidance. Do you take action on it right away or do you think about it? You go, ah, hmm, maybe I'll, uh, gee, maybe I'll get another experience rather than that experience is all you need to become enlightened. So right now, what do you need? What do you know you need to do? What do you know you're called to that you're not taking action on and that, you know, and this is just saying, boom, white and yellow say, if you know it, 
you better be acting on it. Cause there's no guidance from spirit that doesn't have action a lot around it. You don't just get guidance to have more guidance. Okay. And, um, and then, uh, let's see, uh, Christ light and from the, from the right. So from the right is the action. So, so again, the action was called into it from the right. So that whole, that whole level. And then the third bowl. So this is important for everybody because you don't always get great experiences with the bowls. You don't always, it's not always like, the angels are singing sometimes it's the angels are not singing and something is something is blocking that because the angels should be singing mm -hmm. and um and so left temple pain uh is um you know that's going to be again that left side which is the feminine the, the trusting and temple pain is always overthinking things um and um uh so so be sort of like you know there's there's like a whole lot of probably energy going on right now with all this going on that you're not even trusting your own thinking. You're not even trusting what you can, what you can process right now. Um, and Nan had mentioned, we got to process all this stuff and we process it through our feelings, but let our body also guide us. So, so there may be something that you need to trust that you will be able to figure that you will be able to figure this out and take action on it. Um, left wrist pain is uh, wrist has to do with uh, pleasure. And wrists and wrists and ankles are about pleasure and enjoyment and flow. It's like the, it's like the belly dancers, you know, the, the sort of the feeling like, and, and the left wrist is also where you block your ability. You sort of like energetically that blocks your ability to receive the left hand is where you receive from. And so if you have pain in the left wrist, it means that the pleasure of receiving the pleasure of asking, like maybe in that left temple, you're like, I can't ask for what I really want everybody's in trouble right now. There's nothing happening. And you don't believe, you don't trust that you can ask for what you need right now. And so what do you need? Ask for it. See if it happens. See if it comes in. And I, and I, and I always, I always say if, if, if you've asked, until you've asked a thousand times, a thousand different ways for what you really want, you don't know if somebody could give it to you. You don't know if the world would give it to you. So often people say, oh, can you help me with this? And they're like, no, I'm busy. They're like, oh, I'll never ask for it again. No, no, no. That's not the way spirit works. When you need something, it, it's going to, it's just the wave just keeps coming and pain only comes when you have, when you've stopped asking for it. Um, old ones, uh, a red pistol of a flower protruding. I, I, I'm not sure what the red pistol is. That's, red is often the first chakra, you know, make it happen, anger, you know, you know, emotion. Oh, that's the masculine part of the flower, right? That's the thrusting into the world that really seems to relate to her desire to take action, right? And step into the world. Yeah. It's being held back. She's not trusting the feminine side and moving in with the flow. Right. Um, yeah. There's this need for balancing. So one thing I would say is, is to work with that gold and silver energy. Those are the two balancing energies that were coming in as well. Totally. I'm, I'm with you. And then the brown, and then the brownish bridge, you know, that's that, that's that grounded. You need, you need to speak in a grounded way to somebody, bring people into your life, allow your, allow what's inside of you, which, which by the way, you're doing right now, right? When you wrote that, you were the one person on the, on the, on the group that is, that is doing this. This is what that bridge is. Yeah. You now healed everyone else who didn't share theirs is totally fine because your experience and they're like, Oh my God, I could feel that. I, I, you know, they're, they understand that you're sharing because healing work isn't about having some tricky technique, having tricky techniques is fun and having yeah. a crystal bowl is great. And it's like, and they definitely work for the basic outside edges of things. But what really does the healing is your truth. Okay. When, when you share something that didn't process through your brain, you have an opportunity now to help other people access the same qualities within these soul qualities within them. And so that's a really important sort of like understanding that, that just what you did right here, if you shared something that you can't even, you don't even understand totally, right? You, you wrote this, you had no idea what was, what was going to happen out of this. Who, what was, what is he going to say about this? And, and, and when that happens, that's the beginning of a truth. And when you speak a truth, other people will speak a truth to you. When you tell your story, they tell you their story and nothing ever changes. But when you start sharing things like this and, and, and then asking for this, and now look at what great guidance you just got from just 
these silly things that you would have read and, and said, well, that was interesting. I got, I got a lot of stuff. And I guarantee that a lot of people on here got some crazy stuff. So crazy that didn't even want to write it down. But those crazy things specifically teach you your purpose in this moment and what you need to do to embody it and to heal through that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fantastic. I love this. This is so cool. Yeah. And there's so much, um, as you talk about or interpret the, uh, the feelings the sensations, the, the visions, the memories, it's really important to remember what comes up. What I like to say is that the things that you, if you come into a space like this, we create the environment energetically uh, through the chamber, through the sacred geometry, through the lights, the colors, the sound, uh, the guidance, the other beings that have come, that it's easier to release. It's easier for this stuff to come up and a whole bunch of stuff leaves that you don't even know. You don't even have to. Not every single thing that you're releasing or uncovering or transforming has to come to your consciousness. So a whole bunch of stuff is leaving. A whole bunch is, is going out through that cone of golden light. And the things that do come to your awareness, like Reese was saying, is write them down. I always tell people, just jot down, make a drawing. Don't, doesn't need to make sense and maybe don't even try to make sense out of it right away. Feel into it and then allow that to come forward because sometimes, like you were saying, she had the broken necklace, which was interesting, and then the pain um, <clears throat> in the last one. What I know is you said something, I can't remember how you put it, Reese, was like, when the energy comes up, this is what you're here to step into or the emotion or something. And what, what I feel is like, we are too concerned. We were conditioned to think I have to be right all the time. I have to say the right answer. Don't speak up. I have to, you know, so we expect things to be solved, complete, done in one step. Or we think, why is that coming up again? Why am I getting angry again? Why am I getting guilty again? Why am I still worried about my dad again? And instead of judging yourself and dragging yourself down to a low state, right? Low frequency, because you're like, oh, that again. We go, yay, thank you for the information because you said this is your soul or something, right? Showing you to me, that's your soul saying, you want to go here? We want you to go there. This is what's in the way. Right? right? This is what's still there. Look, guess what? That thing with your dad, it's still there just a little bit. You need to know, you need to accept it. You need to transform it. You need to take, pull the gold nuggets out of it. Right. And then release the rest of it. So be happy with whatever shows up, be grateful with whatever shows up, really understand that it's a gift. And when you have that awareness, those visions, and you have something like this where Reese is sharing what that means, and you can go forward that, I'm sure everybody else got a lot from that as well. Then you could just be with it instead of judging it, because then you, we call it the acceptance lounge. You just open up and you say, come on in. I lit a candle. I put on some music. Come on in, guilt. Instead of going, no, no, get out, go down, be down there in the dungeon. You let that come back because it's a part of you and it can speak and transform and move forward. So everything nice. is such a beautiful um, flow of information. And I loved how you were saying that we tune into the frequencies. Everything is consciousness. There is constant information you can tune into for whatever you need. But we're right. so lucky right now to be in a pause where we can hear it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So I have to run to my next, to my next event. Um, thank you so much, Nan. Thank you everybody for being on. Uh, that was so much fun. And, um, you know, happy to, uh, if, if, if people type in later or do something, I'm happy to, to, uh, you know, send it to me. I'm, I'm happy to send it, send some info back, back your Absolutely. way. So, thank you so um, I have, I'm actually starting, uh, next Wednesday, I'm starting a, um, uh, uh, a crystal bowl doing this and for for an hour uh just doing and doing bowls and then readings and bowls and readings throughout for an whole for an entire hour um and it's called um uh it's it's on four it's for the number the letter d healing uh dot com forward slash um sound healing 
So it's so that's what it'll be, and and I'll I'll send you a link, and you can put it yeah, up on. Yeah, send me on a there, link so, so we can. So yeah, we'll do that. But anyway, thank you everybody. Thank you, Nan. You rock. Thanks, we'll Sudi. Love you. We'll bye bye. Soon. Bye. <laughs> Okay, so what we'll do now uh, is we will go ahead and finish this healing and close out the circle. So if you want to relax again and close your eyes, uh, like Reese said, if you want to share, please type in. You can always email afterwards. So you can email any request, any question. We're going to be doing more live healings. If you have a particular request, you can say, I can't come live. Would you answer this question? Send them to support at nanakasha.com, N-A-N-A-K-A-S-H-A.com. And um, all of these are on my YouTube channel, there, which is youtube.com slash joyfulnan, and on iTunes podcast for Bliss Life, and also on nanakasha.com. So these are free, and I want you to share this with everyone. We're looking to build a spiritual community where we can all come together. So in this last part, as we close, we're going to tune back into our hearts, into this beautiful energy. I can still feel it. We're still in that healing chamber. We're still in this beautiful vibrations of the crystal bowls, and we're going to amplify it within our own hearts and send it to the planet, to everybody, to every place. Now, do me a favor and don't put your agenda in when you send it. Go to the purest state that you can and be a clear and open channel for this beautiful divine energy, for this equal balanced energy, for that, oh, beautiful intuitive feminine and that powerful strong masculine for the spiritual and the higher levels of yourself and the material and the physical and Gaia and your earth and your created form reality and all of these energies just be a pure channel for the most optimal energy at this time. If we're a clear and open channel, then we receive what's optimal for us. And then we're a channel for that divine energy to go through us. And what's optimal for Gaia, what's optimal for the crystals or the dirt or the lava or the trees or the bugs or the plants or the animals or the people or the countries or the buildings or the air or the waters, everything. We are all one. We live in an enormous ecosystem. So let's share this intentionally as we close all right so take another breath in and this time up through your nose and let it rise out the top of your head and go higher and higher and higher and higher and higher as high as you can go feel yourself moving through your chakras through your subtle bodies through your light body to the very tippy top of your enormous sphere of light and when you let the breath go, feel like it's pouring out around this bubble, this sphere of light, and beginning to slowly saturate it. This is your light body. And it goes around and slowly saturates. And this white light begins to turn from white and hit little places inside of your light body and like prisms, it begins to divide into a rainbow of colors. The white light of the infinite field pours through you and the little crystals of wisdom, the little crystals and soul memories and triggers, of your highest purpose at this time. Catch that white light and poof, another rainbow, a full color spectrum bursts out. And you just sense and feel yourself standing at the center of your body and being, watching this amazing light show like you're looking into the skies and the stars and the Milky Way and as if you could see past that and see into the multiverses and you could see past that and you can see into the infinite field. 
out and out and out. You gaze from your heart that wave of light, the frequency of the crystal bowl still pumping through your heart. You sit calm and peaceful, fully present in your heart, sensing and feeling 360 degrees spherical consciousness all around you above and below you see these rainbows of light lighting up and those rainbows those colors those frequencies are being drawn in your light field is drinking them and you feel as if the elixir of life from these gorgeous rays and lights and colors and frequencies exactly mixed for what is optimal for you at this time. And you can sense and watch as your entire light body drinks in these rainbow elixirs and as they move deeper into your light body you feel harmony saturating your mind and you say yes thank you and you feel peace saturating your heart And you say, oh, thank you, thank you. And now you feel the most beautiful presence in this healing chamber, the gold ray above and below highlighting this beautiful being, this guide that is here just for you. And this presence again envelops you in love, holds you, and whispers into your heart a special message that your soul has been waiting for. Listen. Receive with all your senses. And you breathe yourself into alignment with this truth. And you feel that whisper like a code, like a passcode, moving through your cells. Click, 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 entering the passcode, opening, flipping the switches in your DNA moving into your blood, cells, bone, muscle, brain, heart, pineal. Be an excellent receiver and drink in this nourishment. You feel the light body council, the beings, your higher self, your body elemental, your I am presence, those guides and angels that are here just for you all around you now. Beaming, amplifying that heart frequency, anchoring this new code, this new level of awareness, 
this new you into the heart. And into the belly. And you feel yourself anchoring into the sacral and the root and anchoring down into your legs and your feet and your toes. And now letting this rainbow energy move up through the heart into the higher heart. A new door opens to your higher purpose. And down your shoulders and arms and into your hands, you feel this energy and you begin to feel stronger, renewed, recalibrated, starting to sense your body. You can move your shoulders and your fingers, feeling this spreading up into the throat, your creativity coming alive, your higher wisdom dawning, your throat opening and opening and opening and <sighs> You feel your inner eye and your crown and your higher self. I am a clear and open channel to my higher self, to my soul blueprint. I accept this healing, this transmutation, these messages. I receive and remember. I drink them in and I choose to believe, to trust, to move forward with this frequency, connected, open, alive, the elements to create all within me, awakened. And take a moment to feel your body and move and stretch. You can bring your hands together and begin to bathe yourself in gratitude. Thank you, body. Thank you. Thank you, healing chamber, gold ray, all seeing eye, flower of life. Thank you, 360 degree spherical consciousness. Thank you to my higher self, my body elementals. Thank you to Reese and to Akasha, to this moment. Thank you to Gaia, Kuan Yin, Merlin, the dolphins, Cuckoo Khan, Isis, Horus, the elementals. Thank you to the white buffalo calf woman, to all the guides who have come today, to the gold ray, to the all-seeing eye. To the infinite field. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let that gratitude now return to you 10 million fold and pour to you, through you, out into your room, in your chair, into your home, in your building, into your computer, in your clothes, into your water, in your food, in your family, in your work, in your bank account. Feel it flowing into every fiber of the reality that you've created. And give yourself permission to receive this gratitude this new clear and open flow to the abundance, to the answers, to the solutions, to the healings, to the ideas, to the creativity, to the flow. Declare, I am love, I am light, I am flow, I am light body. 
I am infinite. I am that I am, E-A, Escher, E-A. Namaste. May this circle be open yet unbroken. And the peace and the heart opening and the healing for Gaia, for all of us, for this moment to move through us into the world with every breath and every step, with every look and every touch, with every thought, with every action. Be a clear and open channel for this highest good and healing. Thank you for being here. Thank you for choosing this moment in time. Thank you for being willing to awaken and to contribute, to hold the highest frequency possible. Use this not to ignore what's happening, but to rise above the low states of shame, guilt, guilt, grief, blame, regret, anger, fear, desire, craving. Allow all of that to push you up the scale into courage, trust, into neutrality and willingness, into inspiration and hope. Accept what is and you can be the most powerful change and love on the planet. I honor you and I see you. Thank you. Akasha here from Bliss Life Global Healing Series on Energy Medicine, Bliss Life Podcast, and nanakasha.com, lightbodyschool.com, infinitylightweaving.com, and someday again, blissliferetreats.com. I'm going to go ahead and check and see what else you have to say before we close. Lisa said, thank you so much. Very appreciative of both of your comments. You're so welcome, sweetie. Nancy said, Nan, amazing meditation. Have to go. Thank you so much. Lisa said, this was truly amazing. Thank you, Nan. Thank you, sweetie. And Margan, my sweetheart. Yes, thank you. Moto <laughs> said, thank you so much. Much needed. Absolutely. Please do me a favor. When you get the replay links, share this with as many people as you can think of. And don't forget to join me. We're going to be doing another one. If this is live for you, it's in two days on Thursday. And Lisa Wilson, who was also one of my speakers in the Bliss Life Global Healing Series, we hit it off. I think she's incredible. And we're going to, I forget what her topic was. It's like love and life with ease and grace. So we're going to do a healing together around that. And then on Friday, I'm going to do a full moon one, very powerful one with the Light Body Healing Council. I'll get to take you deeper and you get to experience more of the Light Body Council and more of the illumination. We're going to have things. So we may illuminate the blocks. We may illuminate your purpose. We may illuminate where you're stuck. We may illuminate how amazing and stunning you are. All right. Thanks, everyone. Namaste. Oh, I got to put my glasses on to be able to see anything. <laughs> Thanks, Lucy. Lucy said, awesome. <laughs>